Well, it seems like the ban list has done some numbers on OCG players because these decks today are incredibly insane. Really, really creative decks using new cards like the new Magista support, using the fact that Dragoon is now unbanned, using the new Blue Eyes stuff. It's really surprising how creative OCG players are, and I think there are some really nice synergies that could carry over to the TCG. So again, this series is for you checking out OCG meta trends, checking out new deck lists that you're not gonna find anywhere else because these are kind of wild. Let's start off today with Valmonica Sky Striker. I think mainly the synergy here is the fact that you usually only end up controlling one of the Volmonica monsters in the extra monster zone. This is also a 50 card deck, so it's pretty, actually pretty unique for a striker deck, but there's a, quite a big engine here. With Engage at 3 and tons of the, you know, Volmonica cards being spells, it makes sense to combine the two. And of course, we have the three of three Pendulum monsters and the new one um, that was released in Legacy of Destruction. And, you know, striker spells, no rows in this one. Basically just using the striker cards as an engine and draw power and utility because you usually just control, you know, the one extra monster zone monster. So you can use things like, of course, um, Eagle Booster and Widow Anchor as a negate. And there is some synergy here with Kaina because every time you activate a spell card, it gains you 100 life points. So that's probably like where it actually connects. And I think this is very interesting. Valmonica has been seeing a lot of like success to be honest, but this is, you know, honestly pretty cool. Now this is pure sinful spoils, I would say. This is how, how I would call it. Now, I think the strategy here is pretty simple. Now, there's a few things that the OCG has that we don't, which are mainly Baron to Fleur, right? Baron is incredible. But we see a variety of other synchro monsters like Chengying, which is incredible in Runic White Forest specifically. And Chaos Angel, Lulu Lilith, really just solid cards with good effects, right? And of course, the White Forest cards themselves have the ability to, you know, synchro summon on your opponent's turn and bounce cards on your opponent's turn and whatever. Now, once you start combining that with the new Azamina cards, then it becomes really interesting. Of course, Diabelle is an incredible card. Diabelle Star and Wanted are now limited, but the Azamina cards, and we see there are two copies of Azamina Determination here, which fusion summons on your opponent's turn, right? It does the whole Sinful Spells Deception thing. Special summons something like the Soul, which can just send a card your opponent controls to the graveyard as an interruption. There's, of course, an Omni Gate. There's a Searcher. There's more Regina. Very solid suite of monsters. So I'm not I'm not sure if this will be like a solid, like that of a solid deck in the TCG, but I think it's definitely playable. And I think the Azamina cards being low rarity except for Deception is, is going to be pretty interesting. Pure Striker. I really need this deck to become good again in the TCG, dude. And it's mainly going to be because of Camellia. Like, when we get Camellia, then it's going to be incredible. First of all, you don't have to have a normal summon. You can go first, send any striker card from your deck to the graveyard if you can have three or less spells, right? Now, if it is in the graveyard, you can target monster your opponent controls, then you special summon Camellia to their field and send that monster to the graveyard. So, so good. You can see that there's also even an Amblo Whale package here with Promethean Princess because Kagari is a fire monster. And then just a slew of hand, tra hand traps and, you know, three engages, two linkages. I mean, this deck is so, so cool. I wish for it to, to come back. And right now, the OCG players are mainly making use of the fact that, you know, they got all the striker support that we still don't have. Blue Eyes combined with Centurion just makes sense. We just got the announcement that the Blue Eyes deck is in fact coming to the TCG in February, so you still have time to prepare. But we see a lot of things that really make sense. They also don't have Calamity. They do have, of course, Baron, which they don't play here, and Borlod Savage Dragon, which we also don't have here, surprisingly. And, of course, 
the Magistus Chirozo, which we'll talk about in a second when we touch Magistus specifically. Very solid cards that fit well into the archetypes because um, Chirozo is a tuner that you can get out of the extra egg really easily. But with three Sage, two Maidens, very slim 40 card build. This basically makes, you know, Crimson into Negates. And it's very simple. And the fact that usually you don't necessarily have to always normal summon your Primera, you can get them as special summons. So you can normal summon something like the Sage or just use Maiden. I think it fits really well. This is probably the best synchro strategy once this releases. Like right now, it's probably, probably White Forest. I think this is gonna be better for us. Hey, by the way, if you like this video and want to support me in making more of these, just remember that you can use code GALZO5 across my many sponsors. Whether it's accessories, rare cards, or just singles, it helps way more than you think. And you can also join our free Discord community in the link in the description below. And if you want special treatment, become a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber to get exclusive access into our members-only Discord channel and get an awesome badge as well. Now, very recently, we had a new Magistus card release. Like, I think this was, it's actually today as I'm recording it, releasing in the OCG, in the OCG Stories Volume 4. A new Magistus promo, which can discard itself to add a Magistus monster from deck. Awesome, great. There's also Magistus Trozo, which is essentially a link to Fusion Monster, who's also a level 4 tuner. You can summon it by sending a Fusion Synchro Exceser Link Monster plus a Spellcaster Monster from Field to Grave. So it's a link to, basically. And you just get a level four tuner for free. This card is seeing a lot of play, mainly because Baron is a thing, also because Savage is a thing, you can make this really easily. But they combine it with Witchcrafters as well, that just synergize really awesome with Spellcasters in general, with cards like Cartesia, that can get you to Apcolone and Winda, of course, and just a suite of good cards, to be honest. Um, they don't play, oh, they do play the the Witchcrafter Vice Master, which I believe is a targeted pop on your opponent's turn by sending a spell or Witchcrafter card from deck. This is cool. Like, this is awesome. Dragoon has been limited from being forbidden in the OCG. And yeah, here's a deck that can utilize that, that honestly can just utilize Red Eyes Fusion I think in the TCG, we felt like Dragoon has been, like, power creeped. It's insane to say because it's such a good card. But, you know, Labyrinth can really use it, I think. Very small engine of monsters with three Red Eyes Fusion and a double pop. So as a board breaker, honestly, really good. You can sometimes OTK with that. Dominus Impulse, because this deck plays only dark monsters. Um... Besides Maxi, of course. And then a pretty simple extra deck. With Phantom of Ubel. Why do we play that? I'm not even sure. Put it down in the comments below. <laughs> Malice, just to give you a heads up. Meta decks. Two Gold Sarcophagus is a really good card for Malice. Also playing Dominus Impulse. You see how incredibly powerful this card is. Solemn Judgments are a trend because of Tenpai. So going first. You said that. And hopefully you deal with whatever they can dish out. And I think this is going to be a really fun deck. I'm not sure how it's going to translate over. But this is... If you are a Math Mech ND and missing your days playing Math Mech, This is going to be the, the resident Math Mech deck, honestly. Now, very cool. This deck might lock you out of the extra deck. But it has a Dark Magician and a Dragon and a Fusion spell. That can fuse on your opponent's turn. So again, we make Dragoon. This is a really awesome build. Shining Sarcophagus. If you don't know what it does, a very heavy control deck with like a one spell negate, one monster negate, very like varied board, widespread with different types of effects. And now, of course, they use Fiendsmith for extending and stuff like that. There's no reason not to with a very good rank six monsters that you can make. But overall, I like the fact this card is treated while in the monster zone as Dark Magician, right? So you can fuse that with Gandora here, which is a dragon monster that you can bring up on your opponent's turn. Make it into a Dragoon. Very, very awesome. Branded, 
60 cards playing cards like Kaitotera. That's how you say it. It uh, searches Polly, but when banished, it can special summon itself and search for Polly with King of the Swamps, with a Stellar, with Tier Elements, with Shadal, the ultimate fusion pile. Of course, making use of the Gold Sark, which can banish the Terra, summon itself, get a Polly in hand. Very good if you already have access to your engines. And we have the fusion that requires, I think, the Kaito Terra plus a dinosaur or a dragon. I'm not really sure, but you can bring it, it out in this deck and it searches every field spell. So you definitely search for Pearl Rhino, Grass, Duality, Duality, Sacrificing Granginol, brings out a Dragoon. Branded players are eating good and they're experimenting with, uh, with you know, the, their new Dragoon. And a, another final deck is the Light Fiend, Evil Twin Fiendsmith variant. You know, Evil Twins are fun, I think. A very cool control deck with, like, draw, really good draw power. Some control aspects. Popping on your opponent's turn. Using these awesome cards. They're not using the, the brick one, right? But, of course, Lila and Kissakil, the Evil Twins, are Light Fiends. So you can go into the Fiendsmith engine with them. And, of course, Nightmare Griffin, also a Light Fiend. And... It's a good card. Very solid. So this is going to be the breakdown for this week. Really awesome. I'm really enjoying digging down on these different strategies because I think this really can give you inspiration into what you want to build in the next formats or even just now. You can already make a lot of these decks already. Let me know in the comments what other decks you would like to see. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.